Are you thinking about going solar? Don't let rookie mistakes dim your sunny dreams. Hi, I'm Ben from Solar Reviews, and today we're talking about the top solar panel installation mistakes to avoid. Stick around to ensure your solar setup is smooth and efficient. If you've done any big home improvement projects, you know that there are some things you wish you'd done differently after every one. Thankfully, getting solar panels is something that people have done thousands of times, and we can learn from their mistakes. We're going to start this video out by talking about the most common mistakes people make when installing solar, and then cover how to pick the right installer and get the best looking installation on the block. The first most common mistake is incorrect panel placement. Placing panels in shaded areas or at the wrong angle can drastically reduce efficiency. Make sure to get your panels maximum sun exposure. In North America, you're going to want to make sure panels face the south and the roof face where you're installing them is unshaded. East and west facing panels are also fine, but they won't get sun for the entire day. If you're working with an installer and they suggest putting panels on the north side of your roof, they better have a really good reason why that's the case. Panels on the north side of roofs in most of North America produce 25 to 35% less electricity than ones that are faced south. The second most common mistake is underestimating your energy needs. Installing too few panels because of a miscalculated energy requirement can lead to disappointment. Always assess your full energy usage. The gold standard here is to look up the last 12 months of your energy usage history from your utility company, and then use a design tool like PV Watts or the Solar Reviews Solar Calculator to see how many panels you need to make that amount of energy over the course of a year. The next mistake is ignoring local regulations. Skipping permits or not adhering to local codes can cause legal hassles and delays. Always check local regulations. If you're working with a trustworthy installation company, this shouldn't be a big deal. They have an entire department that's dedicated to working with the local building authority and permitting office, and to making sure that all inspections are taken care of right up until the day you get to turn your system on. The next thing to watch out for is poor roof condition. Installing panels on a weak or damaged roof can lead to costly repairs. Ensure your roof is in good condition before installing solar. This basically means that a roof should be no more than maybe 10 years old, and the shingles or roofing materials and underlayment should be in good condition. It costs anywhere from $2,000 to $7,000 or $8,000 to have the solar panels removed and replaced once the roof is fixed. Getting a new roof is already expensive and you don't want to add that cost to it. You should definitely replace an older roof before adding solar panels on top. The final most common mistake is DIY installation. Unless you're an expert, DIYing solar can lead to dangerous and inefficient setups. Getting up on your roof can be very dangerous and many manufacturers won't honor warranties for systems that weren't installed by certified professionals. On top of that, engineering the system, pulling permits, and getting inspections can all become huge hassles. This is why we pay the pros to do it. Unless you're talking about a small off-grid setup with a couple of panels and a portable battery, it's best to leave solar installation to the pros. Let's move on to how to pick the correct installer. Start with research and reading reviews. Look for installers with strong reviews and ratings. Check platforms like solarreviews.com for trusted feedback. All the reviews there are from verified customers and solar companies can't pay to influence their score. Something I heard from a solar installer recently is to make sure you read the bad reviews and see the kinds of issues that crop up during installation. Also see how the business responded to those bad reviews. It'll tell you a lot about what kind of company they are and you'll get to see how they handle it when customers aren't happy. The next thing to look for is certifications. Ensure the installer is certified by recognized bodies like NABCEP, which is the North American Board of Certified Energy Practitioners. They should also have any state-specific licenses they need. The final way to judge an installation company is warranty and support. Choose installers that offer solid warranties and post-installation support, but moreover, choose installers that can back up that warranty. If they're offering a 25-year workmanship warranty, they better have been in business for at least that long or have some third-party insurance to back that up. There have been some very big solar companies that have closed up in the past few years whose warranties are now gone. Just a note here that solar panels and inverters and batteries will each come with their own special warranties that don't go away if the installer goes out of business. But each of these manufacturer warranties is different, so make sure you read the fine print before choosing equipment to go on your roof. And speaking of equipment, let's talk about how to get the best looking solar panels. I know I'm in the minority here, but I actually prefer seeing a little white peeking out around those solar cells in a module. And that's because the white back sheet makes the module more efficient as a whole. But most people prefer an all black look despite the small hit to efficiency. So you can look for sleek all black panels or even solar shingles for a modern look. All the modern brands make black on black panels. 
and we've got a roundup of the best solar panel brands right here. You can also get some panels that are integrated into the roof design. The manufacturers of these panels want you to believe that the integration is seamless, but there are very few options outside of the Tesla solar roof that actually look seamless. Okay, that's it for our video on common installation mistakes to avoid. I hope this helps make your solar journey smooth and successful. And yes, good looking panels do exist, but beauty is in the eye of the beholder. To get more tips, read customer reviews, and get an accurate solar quote, visit solarreviews.com and use our solar calculator. Make your switch to solar smart and stylish. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more solar videos like this one. Stay sunny.